Welcome back. It's Thursday. That means it's time for another round of Ask Ellen. Today's question comes from Kiera. It has to do with weather warnings. So she wants to know why do we have storm or tornado warnings when the storm isn't close to where we are? Yeah, this is a great question. It has to do with a lot of how things are set up in the watch and warning category. So let's start first with something that we all know a little bit better. Let's start with just popcorn and how that happens. Let's say we're cooking five kernels of popcorn on a stovetop. We know inside the pan the conditions are right for those kernels to pop. But it's hard to tell which one's going to go first, right? If you were watching the pan, it'd be difficult to forecast which one is actually going to pop or explode. Same thing when it comes to the weather. We'll start out a day with something like a severe thunderstorm watch. And that watch is basically showing us where the pan is. This entire pink area is basically our cooking area. And anywhere in pink, we could see a thunderstorm pop. We just have to wait to see which one will. Now, if we look at Sunday as a past example, we did have a severe thunderstorm that popped and it was south of our area. So that was basically the first kernel or first thunderstorm to form. And then we had more progress into West Michigan. I like this example because even though we have the county lines of Berrien and Cass, this storm was on an angle. And one of the only ways that we can forecast or let you know where that storm is is by calling out the county. So everyone in the county gets the warning, even though the thunderstorm that popped is tracking off that way. That could be the best explanation for anything. <laughs> it's so perfect. Popcorn is always a winner. It's so good, yeah. All right, thanks, Ellen. <laughs> if you have a weather question for Ellen, let us know. You can send us an email to the7 at woodtv.com or feel free to tag her on social media.